down that long long tendency to get downward get down get down done done yep hi guys here's miana at my place we're gonna be trading if you're a newcomer i'm just welcoming you if you are my constant and just my follower i'm welcoming you back we're gonna be trading and testing out let's go and i feel like you know i'm just sitting in the car and starting to drive i'm just putting that you know just turn on the engine and stuff and this is like the same process process 10 seconds uh, if you are maybe you actually noticed that i'm being a little bit more i don't know maybe relaxed but because after you know so many so many videos i actually feel like i'm talking to myself so i'm just sitting right here at my place you know nobody is reacting nobody is answering i mean of course in the comments but just right here here is nobody else and I'm just like talking to myself. You can try actually when you're trading to command, to comment, to talk about what you are doing. And that gonna be, I can't say that it's difficult, of course not, but it's just gonna be the same, you know? <laughs> you just talk to yourself and here is your camera. And I'm just sometimes imagining that there's just you guys and out of all, you know, the followers that I'm uh, having, uh, anyway, I am trying to pretend that it's just a few guys right here and three, four, because if I'm going to be thinking that it could be even like a 10 or 20 people, I'm going to be getting crazy. And, you know, even I have like um, bombs. That's crazy because this is not like standing on the scene, stage, scene, on a stage. Okay, this is done. We're going to be testing that right after. Um, what about the indicators that I just ignored because I've been talking about myself again? Boundary bands, D marker, and CCI. I've been also making a little bit different strategy that was D marker, RCI, and don't change channel, I guess. And this is like look alike strategies. And definitely right here we were at the peak. Look at the demarket and the CCI. And that's definitely, definitely perfectly seen. We gotta get it downward. And even that green candle is not getting me scared or anxious. I'm pretty sure we gotta get downward. At least I need it. <laughs> that's just the plateau. That's just the plateau. That's just the plateau. And right after. You need to get downward, yes girl, or yes boy. Who could it be actually? A few seconds left and dun dun dun. Yes, the profit. Here the opposite situation. You've seen that we are just at the bottom and we gotta get upward. It couldn't be that long or at least we already starting to see some tiny, tiny, tiny changes. And look at these boundary bands. Even being honest, nothing helpful. So all the candles are trying to get inside of that. That's true. But in that case, this is like a line. We could see that it's like a, I can't say moving average because this is not an average, but quite the same one. So we do expect it's gonna be jumping. Just as I told you. And the most important thing, not to decide that it's going to be the break-in like five minutes ago. <laughs> because that sliding, you know, that long, long tendency to get downward is not... You kind of just find it quite often. Here, um, if you are quite attentive, if you've been trading a lot with some of the strat strategies or with the most of the strategies, you can actually notice that we are looking for kind of the same types of situations where just the bottom or the peak or where we at the end or at the beginning or where we are just at the middle and in that case this is the middle situation because I do expect it's going to be more because the actually bottom were quite lower and at the moment when 
I was entering the trade, actually, that wasn't the sign that we got to get that upward. And my assumption was we're still going to get downward. I mean, this green candle is nothing, at least because we have 15 or 10 seconds more. Yes, yes, yes. That was just a tiny, tiny moment of inconvenience. Now, so let's think about this type of situation. And I think the situations when you know it, when you name it, is going to be a key thing for you to understand. And with different actual type of strategies. Sometimes, and one more type of situation where it's high volatility, when it's the flat chart and you can be both right or wrong with this, for example, upward situation because nobody knows it's flat and it's just a tiny moment. And here, just the peak situation. We do expect this is the end of the trend and we're going to get downward with the plateau or just straight away, straight downward. It's going to be just enough for us. And of course, the thing is, for how long this is going to be moving this way just because even if you are in the beginning the tendency could be short look at this latest especially this one with one candle uh look at this latest situations tiny i i know please get down get down get down get down get down is it all of them is it all of them that's crazy so it actually did. So we caught two trends and downward and upward. And we started with the next one. That's crazy. Guys, this is not the perfect one. Just ignore it. Oh my God, the last one. I've been so confident out of first four or three bats. And this latest one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I entered, I made it, and I got full back. Seven. That's seven. Seven bets with enormous amount of money. To trust the two indicators, I'm just trying to tell, to talk as I'm like a TV host. With that enormous amount of money, is it going to be profitable? Is it going to be working? Will she be poor or will she be the winner? Nah, maybe I need, you know, like, like this time. I'm just kidding. I don't know how many seconds left, but I'm quite sure. Yes, 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 that all of them going to be profitable. Sorry, guys, for the bad ending, but all my mood, all my energy just flew away <laughs> with the latest latest nervous situation what to tell you it's done when it's done just as always <laughs> and guys don't forget that i do have only my own official accounts please lots of you sending me so many guys some of them even got a fake us id with my face i never had it and if somebody's texting you with the us number this is not me guys if I could be in the US, why should I move out from there? So, please be attentive. All the links below this video are just in my bio. And this is it. This is the end. I never text anybody first, even in my personal life. Oh, oh, oh. If I have some requests for the job, okay. But, like, this is just not my style. So, be attentive. Be aware of it.